things. So I welcome you to the Alexa series on Linux. And one thing I want to tell you that this lecture series will be helpful to understand the concepts of Linux and Unix with respect to different competitive examination points of view and also frequently asked in interviews also. So if you have enjoyed this lecture, then don't forget to like this video. And also, and if you think that some of your friends want to learn the basics of this Linux and also some advanced versions of it, then do share it with them. Okay, so coming to the today's main part of this lecture, that is why Unix or Linux is known as multi-user operating system and why this Unix and Linux is known as multi-tasking operating system. So coming to the first one, Unix or Linux is known as multi-user operating system. Why? Because Unix is multi-user as more than one user can be working on the same system at the same time. And how it is possible? Because we have different consoles in Unix or Linux. Okay, we have different pseudo or dumb terminals here. So that's why may, more than one user can be working at the same system, at the same Unix or Linux system at the same time. Okay, so you know, even by scheduling some of their tasks to occur while they are not at the keyboard, keyboard, then in that way also many users will be simultaneously working in a Unix or Linux system. So that's all. Means why if someone asks you why Unix or Linux is multi-user operating system, you have to answer like that because we have different consoles or different pseudo and dumb terminals in Linux and also Unix. So that's why this is a multi-user operating system. Okay, so first question being answered. Now it's coming to the second one, that is why Unix or Linux is known as multitasking operating system. And this one is very important. And this one I'll discuss in the next lecture. So stay tuned and I'll you know, be uploading the next lecture very soon.